Good evening. My name is Kevin, and I'm refuting uh, Timothy Doe's claim that raising the minimum wage will likely result in adverse effects on the economy. And his secondary claims are that raising the minimum wage will result in higher inflation, and depending on the wage increase, the minimum wage increase will also sometimes result in an increase in higher unemployment rates. And for the first claim about minimum wage increase um, resulting in higher rates of inflation, um, he gave a statistic by the US, US Bureau of Labor Statistics, um, which stated that the recent nationwide minimum wage increased from 585 to 655 um, this summer in, the, in 2008 uh, caused the consumer price index, which measures inflation, to increase one point. Um, and this statistic is strong evidence uh, to show how increase, increasing minimum wage can cause a slight increase in inflation. But that's just one example um, in just the history of minimum wage increases. So a conclusion, it's hard to make a conclusion about that effect um, of increasing minimum wage. Um, just from that single example, it just helps support the secondary claim. And also, increasing minimum wage will not always cause inflation. Um, supporters of a raised minimum wage support the idea of matching the new base wage to the current rate of inflation, which is indexing. And by indexing the minimum wage to the inflation rate, um, proponents believe that the wage earner's real spending power will also be increased. So when a minimum wage increase, uh, it's not when it doesn't when it doesn't keep up with, in, with inflation, which has been the case uh, in recent years. The workers' paychecks may get a little larger um, because of the minimum wage, but inflated prices of goods and services actually reduce the spending power of the raise. And inflation can also be caused by a number of new in or increased costs of production, um, <coughs> including an increase in workers' wages. Um, if a company must increase the minimum wage of its workers by several dollars um, or even a little bit, there is obviously a new expense that must either be absorbed by the company um, as the cost of human labor or passed on to the customers in the form of higher prices. And this is called cost push, cost push inflation. And an increase in the minimum wage did create an increase in production costs, um, which resulted in an inflated price for consumers. But companies can always adjust to this. Um, so it isn't always necessary for companies to raise prices for the customers. <coughs> and for the secondary claim, that minimum wage increase will sometimes result in an increase in higher unemployment rates. Um, first off, saying that it will sometimes increase higher unemployment rates um, is a pretty ambiguous claim unless the frequency of sometimes was defined. And you referenced a research done by David Newmark and William Washer and their reports indicated that in the least regulated labor markets, like in the United States, Canada, and Japan, um, minimum wages reduce employment. This study uh, is relative to the claim, but it's kind of insufficient to prove the claim. And he also said that the research implied that an increase in the minimum wage will cause further unemployment and will reduce the amount of jobs being created. However, this is a large jump to conclusions just based on that research. And based on his supporting facts, uh, it seemed as if teenagers were the only, uh, were the majority of people affected by minimum wages. Um, therefore, the claim should have, uh, the, the claim itself should have specified whether or not increasing the minimum wage affected everybody or just teenagers. And according to the data collected by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, the teenage unemployment rate spiked to 20.3% in July 2008 from 18.1% a month earlier. And there's not a whole lot of evidence confirming that this uh, increase in unemployment was caused by minimum wage increase. Um, it's possible that that 2% could have been random increase or just caused from something else. And a minimum wage increase not always result in higher unemployment rates, but it's more likely to reduce employment. Um, it's not just that current workers are being fired when the minimum wage in is increased but because jobs also become phased out. Um, basically, um, some jobs that would be profitable at the lower wage would not be profitable at the higher wage. And in conclusion, his evidence used to support his claims is clear and relevant, relevant and his reasoning was straightforward. 
and understandable. However, some evidence um, combined with its reasoning wasn't sufficient enough to, to make a whole conclusion about his claim about increase, the effect of increasing minimum wage. Thank you. See, we misunderstood each other about the Scantron thing. All right, I'll figure it out. <laughs> 